Uh, first game is... Hello and welcome to LGGB vs. Pat. First game is going to be Rockwall, Pat playing Krang, and uh, LZG playing Zedaburn, as always. Yeah. Ready? So Rockwall is a very solid pick for both of these characters. The side pass turns really lead to a lot of border kills and down smash kills. Um, and apart from being a lot of extra mobility. A double shine from uh, LZG, that you don't generally see, generally because it only does about 10 damage. And Pad does some nice edge guarding there. Yeah, completely missing the with only 50% on the board. Nice parry yeah. there. Indeed, into a nice jab string. So now he has like oh, a one stop lead. Completely blocking LZG from the stage. So I managed to get back on. Back into neutral. Up smash kill won't kill yet. You need to be at at least 100% for most characters. LCG is just kind of letting Pat back on stage, seems quite questionable, and the forward smash will take up the stop. Pat being two stops ahead right now, that could change quickly. Uh, LCG manages to actually get a kill move. Pat playing really solid, like very solid there. Yeah, just being patient and uh, waiting for... Pulls out the stock. Just been waiting for uh, LZG to make his first move, and then just punishing accordingly. Okay, so this is a three stock for Pat there. Pat played yep. very well. Indeed it did. If LZG can figure out how to beat Pat and hop right into the second game. Yes. Two. So we're going to that we are. That's going off at the rock pool. And uh That started LZG. with a much better for LZG. Yep, this stage and it's uh, kinda of low platform three really do help a lot of uh sediments combos. Um, they really allow you to extend by doing maybe dash up tilts and the like. That is almost at kill percent, but without fire, the Gatling won't take him out. But just being stuffed out by rock. Oh ah, wow. Takes the stock. Yeah. Being at high percentage again. You just gotta be wary of Frag. Never sleep on him. But, the classic. Back air to up smash. Even his 17% lead, but that quickly grows as Pack gets a small combo. Uh, LZG's really regained his composure in this match. Um, it's not going anywhere near as bad for him as it was at the first game. Covering the roll with a up there. Very smart decision. Uh, LZG is just fishing for uppers there, but uh, the dance, uh, dance match has managed to get him off stage. Again, LZG has just been hanging back from the ledge and just letting Pat walk back on. He really needs to start getting out there and edge guarding if he wants to uh, take it back in these matches. Going right. quite well for him at the start, but uh, has just been blocking out in the second stop. So LZG managed to get the stock with only 17%. Now he's at 21, and he gets some good damage on Pet. Yeah. But 80% is like not a thing for Crag. It gets dangerous when it's about like 150% and if he's on fire there's a chance of 
getting killed as Crag. But LZG. Nice oh. shine into up strong. Closes yeah. up the game, so it's even now. Yeah. With uh that was a gasling by the way. But um because dash attack actually does deal so much damage along with the up smash, um, I think it's somewhere in the region of about twenty percent, uh if you combine the two moves. It means that actually with Krang, if they're on fire you start threatening to do that immediately at one hundred percent, putting them kill percentage. It's very nice for early kills. So we are on um, Treetop Lodge. Yes. If you don't know um, how the stage is for both of the characters, because I will um, pick the stage myself when I play Zeta or Craig. So um, it's it's quite an interesting pick. It's it's a very dynamic stage for a lot of reasons because it's so small. It can lead to a lot of issues for both characters. Um, it's very easy to ed edge guard uh, and then on the stage because it's so easy to just get off to the side there's so much wiggle room out there. But because it's so small, it means you can get a lot of combos off the third event. So it's just, it's very dynamic. Oh, almost SDs with a very risky edge guard. But uh, Pat actually brings out the edge guard. So both players, it's like... Like some Pokemon trading card game stuff. They both have their turns and get some massive combos out, but then like, we just saw that, so Pep managed to close out the stock on LZG, um, but right after, when LZG was back, he managed to get like, 60% in one combo onto Pep, and that's like, probably underlines, uh, the, the stage is yeah. dynamic, yeah. LZG is going for a lot of very risky reads at the moment, and that's really not doing him well, he needs to just stay calm and work on kill confirms. You have so many, like that one for instance. But uh, it's now at a 90% loss. What can he do? So Just Pat actually with... can read the rolls from LZD. Very nice. Oh, yeah, and LZD can... SD's there, unfortunately. Yeah. The Tekken on ledge is a very common thing that goes around. Uh, yeah. Oh, and it's even oh. again at 100% dying there from the sweet spot up there. Yeah. Now LCG wants to take this game home. He made a nice uh, comeback there because in the beginning it actually looked like bit better for Craig and yeah he gets that comeback by some really really impressive plays. I like LZG Setter, I believe he got like second on the RCS May monthly. Yeah I do think so, I can't quite remember that. But that was Yam. Oh yes it I uh, Yam got third, I do believe. It was LZG who got second. Um, but this match we're going to the Endless Abyss with Pat as SLS going back to what I think might be his main, but I'm never too sure with Pat. Um, and the stage being incredibly good for yeah, He once said like uh, he mains every every character besides Epsa, um, but his Epsa's being one of his better characters. So I'm really excited for that match because I love Pat's Atlas. Yeah, uh, this, this stage, after the shrinkage of it, it's a lot more kind to the matchup against Atlas, but it is still quite the challenge. Let's see how this goes. So, Pat is uh, playing for his match right now. If he loses this game, he goes out. Dash attack eating fireballs, as always, being very irritating. Pat being a lot more patient for this match. Uh, just hanging back. Doing effless things. Somehow not actually getting parried from that icicle parry. Uh, not sure how that works. A 
interesting trade with the down bit. Again, the blast zones on this stage are very high. As you do with a nice parry, leading into a strong attack. But that actually gets the armor there. Yes. So the uh, up smash kill won't do anything if he's at essentially half a set. This is up the strong attack. But I'm in right after with the dunk. Yeah. But then gets that strong attack, and uh, they're basically equal again. Some very nice rolls coming from both players. Traps him in the ice there. Yeah. Goes for a combo extend off it with a dash attack that messes up. But this is looking really good for Pat right now. It is looking quite well. Yeah, Nair doing him wonderful work with its wonderful ability to stuff out people's combos mid combo. The uh, Dance Smash into Fire will see it off the start. So it's almost even again. Well, almost. Pat oh, and Pat manages to trap him in the eyes. Indeed, he does. Let's see it's what we punish. Like really close. But Pat gets a nice parry leading into the side strong. Yep, taking and the game. Getting the set even, it's 2-2 two, two now. Game 5, match point. Let's see. On Pat merch. Going with the Atlas again. Yep. Going to merge and port this time. He's feeling like the uh, safest with his Atlas. Yep. But, LZG doing wonderful work right now, being quite a bit up. But that can quickly change with Atlas, she has some very fast high damaging combos. LZG being not patient enough there, because he really wants to close out the stock, because it seems like that with all the up strongs. Yeah. So that gives Pat the opportunity to just build up percentage on LZG slowly. I just get the Bacchus to uh, kill. Okay, Pat has his armor up and is at about 130%. But LZG but manages to destroy the armor and close out the stock. The armor actually breaking in between the down smash hitbox and the consume hitbox, allowing it to actually kill. Yeah. Because that's a mechanic for some reason. Um, just like dash attacks into Nair is really working quite well for Pad at the moment. And a freeze. Let's see what his punish is. Let's go for the forward smash, but the back out. Oh, that was. Pretty nice play by LCG there, managing to get the stock. Yep. Yeah. From the down B using a Nair, I do believe. So Pet right. definitely needs to close out the stock there. Yeah. Tries to freeze again, but fails. Oh, actually missing the smash hitbox of the, of the down strong. I don't know what exactly happened there. He got... Yeah, wow, that, that's unlucky. Yep. The uh, down smash with Atlas. Focus the kill. Oh. Having armor. Bring him down to essentially 40%. For the next 50. Pat just keeping us cool there. Trying to play as patient as he can. And read yeah. the roll so he evens out the game. Wow, this is actually so close. Yes, it's a 
Very nice comeback so far. Again. While though uh, LDG had the uh, apparent moment there, I lost the armor. Regaining armor is just really putting Pat the lead. But anyway, so much flashback. Oh, they. Pat misses the hitbox again. Indeed. Pat has no armor right now, so this is looking really close. But gets the hitbox off the down strong there. And managed just to get the win over LCG. That was a great set. Well, a very 